Sandro Tonali embarrasses Kylian Mbappe as Newcastle's backroom work pays off. It was a stunning international return for Sandro Tonali. Newcastle United Sandro Tonali made a brilliant return to international football on Friday night, shining for Italy in their triumph over Kylian Mbappe's France at the Parc des Princes. The midfielder played the full 90 minutes, much to everyone's surprise, including Italy boss Luciano Spalletti, and it was a performance to remember, with Tunnelly providing a superb assist for his country's equaliser. Another highlight of the clash was Tonali's blistering run past Mbappe down the touchline as the Newcastle star turned on the afterburners to leave the pacey Real Madrid forward in the dust. Tonight there was a play where Sandro Tunnelly from the left side put the jets on him, Kylian Mbappe, and I was like, what is happening here? ESPN commentator Hercules Gomez noted during his post-match reaction. It was like Kylian Mbappe was facing a regular player. It created a separation that I just couldn't believe. Tonali's pace should come as no surprise to those who have seen him play in a Newcastle shirt. The former AC Milan player has often demonstrated an incredible change of pace that many would not have expected given his height and passing-based style of play. Last season, in a game against Mbappé's PSG, Tunnelly shone at St James Park as Newcastle won 4-1, while also recording the fastest sprint speed of any player in the Champions League that game week. The 24-year-old's fastest recorded speed of 35.5 km per hour put him above the likes of Christian Pulisic, 35.0, Rasmus Hodgland, 34.9, Theo Hernandez, 34.4, and Mbappe himself, 34.4. This is nothing new, as Tunnelly previously made headlines in his native Italy when he recorded the fastest average speed and sprint speed of any player during an AC Inter clash at the San Siro. On that day, his fastest time was 2.5 km per hour, 33.6 km per hour. More recently, on his first outing back, Within the first minute of his so-called return from 10 months out, Tunnelly could be seen making a gut-busting run into the penalty area as Joe Willock put Newcastle ahead inside 18 seconds against Nottingham Forest. It's clearly an asset the Magpies are looking to use to their advantage, with Howe even admitting they have worked on Tunnelly's speed behind the scenes. I saw the hunger there all the time, he said last month, ahead of Tunnelly's return. He's done a lot of work on his own, individual work, fitness work, gym work, we've worked on his speed and covered a lot of aspects of his game to try and help him.